What's cracking with y'all thrill billies out there? Back again on Live the Thrill. Sorry for the acoustics in here, dude. Actually, they sound pretty good, man. Oh, my Maria. So what we got going in the garage today? You guys might be saying, you guys in the poor man's garage, dude? It looks a little bit freaking different in here. Yeah, gosh dang right it does. So, the past few days we've been working on getting all the primer on the walls. It's all done. All the drywall is fixed. In-law is actually starting to paint the other half of the ceiling right now. So yesterday I went through and I painted uh, this side of the ceiling right here. Now, uh, didn't end up throwing a primer on before. I'm just going to throw it on thick. This Promar white ceiling paint here, flat white. This stuff, dude, from here to just halfway was two gallons, dude. Two freaking gallons it took me to, uh, to paint. So I went and bought two more gallons uh, yesterday, and now in-law is doing the other half there, and then touch up with the brush. Fat boy's down here on all fours. Gosh dang. Let me... So I, I couldn't help myself, man. It's been a while. It's been a while, dude. Fat boy's down here, and he's clearing up all of this broken-ass concrete, which, guys, I don't know what the deal was, but, like, there's cracks all over the place, so obviously we're going to do an epoxy floor. So all of this stuff, this crack down the side, he's going to break and chip off all the crap, and we got some thin set we're going to fix it with, and then... Uh, hopefully next week we'll epoxy the gosh dang floors. Now, you guys might be asking, this is not, you know, this is not the final color. Even though this color is like, it's all right. It's like a bluish gray or something like that. This is not the final color that we are doing. I don't know, should we go ahead and tell him or should we wait, in law? No, nah, you gotta wait, bro. You gotta wait? Should we nah. wait till we get it in? You gotta wait, man. I don't know, fat boy. I mean, what do you think, dude? What color you want to go with, man? Thinking a nice fluorescent blue, your yellow. Fluorescent blue? I've never even heard of that, man. You guys might see it in this video. I don't know yet. We're, we're going to be, uh, we'll, we'll let you guys know soon, man. It's, it's going to be pretty exciting, though. Like, I, I'm ecstatic about it because nobody's ever done it before. The floor, the, dude, the doors, man. Like, people be asking, man, you got to paint these ugly-ass freaking doors. This is actually, dude, look at this, man. This is a commercial door. This is a commercial freaking door they put in here. They did a horrible drywall job too in here, man. It's just, uh, it's a lot of fixing that we had to do. Obviously, it's a garage. It doesn't have to be freaking perfect, but you know, we're trying to get it as best we can. Also, I want to talk about one little thing right here. I called this son of a dick the poor man's garage, man. Listen, y'all. I, I think I might have made a mistake calling it the poor man's garage because with the money that I've spent on paint alone, I mean, it's freaking ridiculous, dude. I did save a lot of money by having some uh, some old paint that we were able to use for the primer and the walls. But as far as the freaking ceiling paint goes, dude, I mean, it's it's around two hundred dollars. Think two hundred dollars for ceiling paint hey, by itself. It could still be the poor man's garage because you know it's. Oh, you're poor man. It's okay, poor man. It's a terrible garage. Dude, so, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, poor man. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's it. That's it, man. So it is the poor man's wow. garage, man. You guys giving us crap at the comments because we're spending too much freaking money, man? Dude, I'm freaking, uh, we're not talking about monetarily. We're, dude, we're just poor, poor guys, guys, man. man. This poor, poor, oh, this poor us, man. This garage is terrible. I oh. feel so bad for this dude, guy. You're gonna be broke once it's all done, so you will be a poor man's garage. That's, yeah. Oh, that, that's true, dude. Yeah. The garage is gonna make us go broke. See, guys, this is the <laughs> stuff that we're dealing with here, man. It's the poor man's garage. I don't give a dick what you guys say. Hey, hey, fat boy, nice shirt, man. We match it today, bro. Yeah, bro. We match it today, bro. Guys. This is the, what, what month is it? It's March. March. It's March shirt of the month right here, baby. We got to go with the, we had to go with the Odie Green because, you know, St. Patty's Day coming up, y'all. Ah. You know what I'm saying? The Irish outlaw. Dude, who, who agrees they like Fat Boy on two knees, man? I don't know. I kind of like you on all fours, dude. I got, you got, you, I got some good, I got some good shots of you, man. So for that gigolo career. It's what? The gigolo career. The what? Gigolo career, man. Oh, gigolo career. Sorry, we needed some subtitles there. It took me a second. So we're almost done here with all the paint. Fat boy's chipping away. You can see here because we're gonna do a nice layer of thin set all up in here. And uh, luckily, Papa Outlaw's done a few epoxy floors in his life. Because you know, to be honest, if you guys have ever done an epoxy floor, it's kind of a pain in the dick, dude. That stuff that you got to roll on. It's it's some thick, nasty crap, and it reeks. Um, and then we got to go with with uh, you know what we want to get for our flakes and and all that kind of crap. We got to decide what color to do because you guys don't know the color of the walls yet. I don't know, I kind of. What do you think, man? Kind of, I kind of want to do some invisible walls. Yeah, that'd be. Have I said too? Much? Invisible paint though, that's gonna be hard to find. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know, man. We're gonna have to do some. 
We'll yeah, figure yeah, it. Yeah. We'll we'll have to do some thinking. Secret man. laboratory. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know what I noticed is, man, we uh, you know, we, we we I don't think I don't think new viewers are gonna give us crap about the name Poor Man's Garage. You know why? Why? Because these grimy ass beards, dude. We just look poor, man. <laughs> look at this. Look at this, dude. What the hell? What, look, look at you, dude. Hey, mine's look looking you, pretty dude, fresh. Oh, freaking St. Patty's Day's coming up. The leper <laughs> in all the leprechauns here. <laughs> look at this, fam. Look at me, dude. Look at me, man. Oh my god. What the dick, dude? Dude, guy, I think we need to go to the doctor and get prescribed Rogaine. What y'all think, man? Be gone. Mm-hmm. Ah! Close one. It's cable. You can't even see it coming towards your foot and freaking kill you. We interrupt our schedule. Preg pregnant program. <laughs> pregnant program. Our program because pregnant. We interrupt your. Yeah, that's really hard to say. We interrupt our pre. pre we interrupt our regular scheduled program for a sponsor. Nah, it's not a sponsor. He just sent it to us for free. We interrupt our regular scheduled programming for our beards. Check these out. Grimy, eh? Oh, dude, what the f***? Yeah. I didn't know you were a leprechaun. <laughs> They're after me, Lucky Charms. So, this dude from Beard Mountain, Billings, Montana, sent us some shit. Oh, we're gonna open this guy up. Dude, I'm excited about this, man. He, this guy emailed, ooh, holy oh, crap. Oh, a man yeah. card. Oh, What's yeah. that? Grab one of them man cards, dude. What does it say, man? Beard Mountain. Beard Mountain, nice, dude. Oh, look at that. It's got a, a lifetime discount code, dude. That's sick, man. Heck yeah. Beard Mountain, dude. Wow, look at this. Oh, we all we all get our own pack, dude. Oh, we all get our own freaking oh, pack, bro. Oh, it's like in law. Dude, heck yeah, man. Let's see what's in here, man. Ooh, I can smell the beard oil, though. We need some oil for our beards, man. You know what kind of oil we need? I think it's called Rogaine. You, ever, you guys ever heard of that? <laughs> I think it's a, it's a pretty good oil that'll help us. I've been using 5W30. Ah, that, that works too, I've heard. Yeah, I think these are all different, dude. These aren't all individual. Ooh, what the heck is this? Mustache tranquilizer? What? Oh. It's got chapstick for your mustache? Whoa. What the hell? Let me right. check these out. What? Dip cans? Holy crap, man. I need a dip right now. Mm. Oh, it's just polish, dude. It's beard polish. Dude, this isn't, I mean, we haven't even, to be honest, with you, we haven't been paid or anything, but we are pretty excited about this, like, this stuff, man. Especially Fat Boy. I love beard oil. I think Fat Boy needs to come out with his own beard oil. What, 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 which one should I do? Here, I'm gonna do Wild Yukon. Wild Because I feel like I'm from the Wild Yukon with this nasty son of a dick, man. This griminess. See how much better it looks, you know? Just with the, ooh, I like the smell. It smells very good. And then I'm gonna do a little mustaching. How's she look? She looks shiny? Mm-hmm. Oh. Ponderosa smell good? It does smell real good. Yeah, boy. Get all in there. Was it, how many times do you, do you, do you use beard oil at all a lot? Mm-hmm. Do so, it right there first thing in the morning. Really? Wake up, get the beard brushed out, brush it out. I guess you just do a little, a little bit in your mustache. How's she look, man? Fresh. Smell me. Uh. Uh, good, eh? Some people just do it like that, though. It's going like, I just go in there and just. Oh, I just, it's like a. Oh, it's like I just. It's a load for your beard. Oh, dude. That's what it looks like, man. It's all chopped up in there. Look good. Look at me fresh. Mm hmm. Grimy? Totes. Who's doing the griminess with us, dude? Not as grimy now. Join the griminess. I'm about sick of it, to be honest. <laughs> I'm about freaking sick of it, dude, because I'm growing my damn. I'm growing this out too, man. So this like, it's just straight up like wake up in the morning, like hair in my eyeballs. This mustache curls backwards into my freaking nostrils, dude. It's annoying, dude. I don't know how you do it, to be honest. This motherfucker's got his mustache coming into his mouth, dude. Takes your flavoring. I mean, he names his mustache Jared for a reason. Huh? <laughs> Cause it's coming into his mouth. Well, gotta make a living somehow. I don't, I don't think that's PG. <laughs> if you get real close in on Fat Boy, you notice that beard bob didn't work it worth a shit. It did. It's everywhere. Look. At it. Well, usually I do it in front of a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, thanks, Beard Mountain. You the man. I'm gonna go pack a dip. She's a good girl. She's such a girl. She's such a girl. She's such a girl. I can't believe Outlaw actually thinks we work when he's gone. <laughs> what a chump. Yeah, dude. Right. Dude, what do you think about Outlaw's beard, dude? 
Oh, that thing his is grimy beard. Dude, that thing is so crappy, dude. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's something I mean, else, that's for sure. Dude, it's not as good as you know this. I mean, this, this look, magnificent beard, this how straight rock. it is. Yeah. How, how long have you been working on that beard? Oh, dude, I've had this thing for years. Dude. Oh, I mean, yeah, I've had at least five years been just letting it grow wild. Nice. Yeah, just inside the house, a little bit. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah mine, we, mine's not too bad. Yours is like even comes in nice on the side. Yeah, it's even not. Now it yeah, it looks pretty good. His is all curly and dude, weird. It looks like a bald guy trying to do a comb over. Yeah. <laughs> He's just got to shave it. Dude. Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's it, man. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe once puberty kicks in for him, it'll come in nice and thick, but yeah. I mean. But until then, he yeah. just needs to get rid of it. Yeah, it's yeah. got to get gone. Yeah. <clears throat> My brother. He's older than me, but yet I can grow. Actually, Jamin. Brolaw can grow a better beard than both of us combined. Like, he's got a really good beard if he grows it out, but. He's but the yeah. old man's child, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey! Hi, hey, man. What's cracking? We're getting tough, dude. We're over here to tough shit. Hey, flex. Come on. This is no flex on, bro. Getting tough. You can't flex fat. Ooh. You ever see me in a girdle? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, man, we're here at Tough Shed because we're trying to check out a shed. Um, I don't even know the prices on these things. Of course, we come here whenever they're at lunch. But I'm trying to find some prices out on these things because it might be better just because they can just deliver it same day type thing. It might be easier just to do that than even build one because um, the cost is still pretty pricey for, you know, building the shed. Um, you know, a shed to actually keep equipment that needs to be protected like my mower. So we were looking at these. This one's pretty damn big here. This one, the mower could fit in that door. This one here, uh, the mower wouldn't be able to fit in that door. But if you come around, which is kind of cool, there's this guy right here. And then you've got your, your big door to hold all your shovels and weed whackers and whatever else. And then we can just park the mower right in there. Uh, and there's a few more, but this one, I would say is probably the best and the one behind i just don't know maybe they can do a double door or something so we're probably gonna go eat something real quick come back over here and see if we can get a price um see what we can do hopefully it's not too pricey man good bro <laughs> said after lunch poopy boy <laughs> oh all right y'all it's officially done good job in-law man in-law finished up the ceiling and he cut in for me um so basically like i said i rolled just like barely halfway yesterday and it took two gallons in-law just used another gallon so three gallons all together for the ceiling that was with no primer um looks good though man looks freaking good Thanks. you could just tell in here already like it um oh. it are you serious, bro? Um, what? That's your ground wire. What, did it fall off? I don't know if it was ever connected or if it just broke. <laughs> like your dick? Now, a lot of y'all sons of dicks be asking. They be like, hey man, what the, what's the deal with the garage though? Like, what are you gonna actually do with it when it's done? Are you gonna be working on trucks in here? Like, you know, what, what's the dealio? Well, you guys just saw we were looking at sheds, man. All this stuff needs to basically go in a shed. Not all of this, but a lot of it needs to go in the freaking shed because a lot of it is just like stuff for the yard and stuff only in the summertime, like seasonal stuff, right? So a lot of this clutter is gonna be moved out. One, we gotta move all this crap out of here anyways because we're gonna be doing the epoxy floor. Putting some thin set in these holes overnight and uh, getting that stuff done. And then we gotta pressure wash it in here. We gotta acid wash it really good. And then we can go ahead and do the, uh, the epoxy. But as far as what we're gonna be doing in this garage, once it's pretty much done, is I don't think we're gonna be doing a lot of working on cars in here. I mean, we will a little bit. You know, we will be working on a few things in here. This is basically gonna be the new studio. Guys, you guys are gonna be impressed, man. You guys are gonna be impressed in a couple days, I'm telling you, with what we're gonna be doing up here, this son of a dick, dude. So I'll just say right now that, you know, it's not gonna be like a very, you know, it's not like, oh, this is just a workshop garage for, you know, doing wood stuff and whatever. What I'm trying to say is this whole garage is gonna be utilized for vidges. And it's gonna be a good time, dude. I can't wait for y'all to see it. Dude, what the heck? Did you guys make a, hey, in-law. Did you guys make a clip on here making fun of my beard? No. What the hell are you doing, fat boy? You freaking make fun of my beard, dude? No, I never make fun of you. Especially that real manly beard of yours. 
I saw it, dude. You think I don't go through footage? No. In law, get in here. What the hell, dude? I freaking heard you talking crap, boy. I don't, I don't know what you're talking. You want to go, dude? No, no. You want to freaking go, dude? Nothing wrong with you. You want to freaking go, your, bro? Your beard looks great. It looks amazing. Oh no, no. One hour later. <laughs> Outlaw, what's wrong? Hey, man. Leave me alone, man. Dude, what's wrong, man? Everybody's making fun of my beard. What? Why? Well, you know, kind of it's kind of bad, you know. I See what I'm talking about? I mean, you'd probably get more subscribers if you shaved it off. Yeah, you lose subscribers hard. What do you guys think I should do? Boy, just, just don't hit my pubes! Dude, I'm freaking nervous, man. So, y'all, okay, we did the grimy beard challenge, man, but I'm growing my hair. It's like, there's so much hair, dude. There's so much freaking hair. And to be honest, this is totally my idea. I'm gonna let these two do the grimy beard challenge. Well, Fat Boy's already got the grimy beard. In-law, in-law's going strong too, man. In-law's going strong too, but. It's been two and a half months. No, it hasn't even been two and a half months. It's been two months. Because yep. it was mid-January, right? Mm -hmm. So it's mid-March now, so it's been two months, man. Here's the deal, y'all. Get up in here close, man, to the griminess. No, I grew up like big time up on the neck, man. Like I could shave my mustache, I look Muslim, for sure. Like I look like Khabib Namurga Madoff for a rizzle. <laughs> but, uh, I get like a lot of different colors. Like I'm blonde, obviously, like my hair's blonde, right? But my beard gets a lot of red, browns, white, gray, blonde, a bunch of different stuff, man. I just don't, I'm just, I'm done with it, dude, to be honest, I'm done with it. I'm growing the hair out, man. For me, I'll do the grimy hair challenge, man. Long Hair Outlaw 2020, we're coming back with it. Hashtag that shit on Twitter, dog. You know what I'm saying, dude? <laughs> These mother truckers right here, I, I'm not trying to go fat boy long hair, but but I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna bring back at least, you know, at least to like, at least to right here, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta find the right one, man. I gotta find the right guy. And this is a two. I think I'm gonna go like a, just a shadow where you can see, cause if I shave it down enough, then you just see blonde and it's fine. We gotta do some funny shit right here, man. Like, uh, should I shave this first and keep the chops? Yeah, just like do right there, here. yeah. Keep the just like right chops. here. Flip your hat backwards. It's been grimy nose hair challenge too. Look at those nose hairs, bro. You see them, Sunday dicks? They do this bad, man. Mm. New Trinity mud jug. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Trinity mud jug for all you Christians out there and all the people that love Jesus, dude. There you go. <laughs> here we go, man. Oh my gosh. So just like right here? Do it. Oh gosh. Oh, oh. Oh, dude, this is so, this is gonna get demonetized, man. They're gonna think we're shaving pubes up in here. <laughs> Check him chops out, dog. God dang, I gotta, I gotta fluff them up. Look how long they are. Look at that. Oh. They're so, look at that, dude. All right, what's next, boys? What do you think? Chops. Should we do the chops? Or should we just do the goat? Look at that chin hair. You no. think the chin hair and then leave the chops? Leave the chops. All right, man. Oh my gosh, <laughs> man. We can braid it. My chin hair is the best, dude. It's really thick. Mm -hmm. I like my chin hair is the thickest part of my body, dude. Except my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Two oh, C's. Squat, huh? That's one thing about having like a freaking crazy like beard that's just like all over the place. You don't look skinny, man. I swear. Do some uh, flies for the guys. Some flies for the guys? Yeah. <clears throat> You guys really think I look ugly, dude? Mm. Yeah, dude, you're... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Look at you, man! I'm gorgeous. <laughs> look at dude. I'm straight up from China, dude. I'm from Shanghai, dog. What the hell? What the heck? That's some pretty good length, though, man. That's like two inches, dude. Well, let me pull it out. You know two inches real well. Here we go. Oh my gosh, man. I look like I'm 10 years older, bro. What the <laughs> fuck you guys doing, you son of a bitch? You better get off my freaking YouTube channel and go subscribe. Oh wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. I got Alzheimer's. <laughs> good days. I think you look good with just the mustache. That long? You think? Yeah, yeah. it looks kind of good. Part. Dude, look at me, bro. What do you think, man? <laughs> Dude, now I'm real freaking ugly, boy. If only my mustache was a little bit longer, like another month, and it would and it would connect to the chops, dude. I'd be looking like Triple H. I'd be looking like the wrestler Triple H back <laughs> in the day. All right, y'all. That's how much hair we got so far. It's y'all's fault, man. You guys say I got a poor excuse for a beard. Well, frickin' a, man. We're chopping it off. Here, see? What do you think, yeah? What do you think? Huh? Huh? Mm. In law and fat boy are telling me I need to keep it like this, dude. I don't know, man. I think I need to just see like what straight up mustache looks like. Cause the, look at this man. 
What the heck am I? What am I right now? That's so awesome. <laughs> They're saying I need to shave this like completely. It looks like Sherlock Holmes time. Holmes. <sighs> Holmes. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Going British. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen my cheeks in a while. I can see my dimples again. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, man. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, dude? That's awesome. Oh my gosh. I could put some gel in that and I could just curl it up like Doc Holliday, bro. My mm -hmm. hero. I kind of look like Doc Holliday right now. What you guys think, man? <laughs> <laughs> ah! This is die. Y'all are about to die. <laughs> Oh yeah, a little bit darker in there. Life some registration. What? Nothing like life some registration. But I wasn't speeding. I said life some registration. Uh, I don't have. Sir, get out of the vehicle. Uh, are you, sir, what the fuck are you doing, huh? You ever been tased, boy? No. I you ever been tased in the gonads? No. I don't I'm gonna tase you, motherfuckers, in the gonads if you don't give me your life some registration. Oh. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, let, let me, me just, just right, sure. yeah, let me just, um, yeah, uh. <laughs> hey, this was, that's your credit card. Listen up, mother truckers, I'm gonna tell you one time, one time only, you better freaking subscribe right now, I'm gonna stab you in your moose knuckle, all right? Stab it in your moose knuckle, right in the middle. Right where the freaking hole is, and then I'm gonna split you up all the way to your freaking belly button. Better get at it right now, and while you're at it, smash that thumbs up button as well. Or I'll stick my thumbs up, up your bum. And I'm gonna freaking go really fast like this. Probably feel good, honestly. If, if, if it was me. I should probably, probably, probably cut that part out. <clears throat> this mustache is doing weird things to me. Come in close to the mustache. No, not that close, not that close. What about you? You gonna give me your license and registration? What license and registration? Give me your license and registration. What license and registration? You have a permit to carry a knife that big? Shit, who needs a permit? This is America. What are you packing right there? Nothing but American meat. Is it USDA? The best. Born in a trailer in the middle of the woods Shooting deer and drinking beer It's all that's understood Dip in my lip Much I get my hand Redneck nation on my back We dominate and fade to black Getting drunk up in the back of the bourbon truck I'm skinning bugs Shooting ducks Running them up not giving a fuck Y'all don't like